scapulae. First of all, we have to know the position of the scapulae and the surfaces. This is the posterior surface of the scapula carrying the spine of the scapula. So it is lying posteriorly. This is the posterior. While this is smooth surface is anterior. So this is the anterior and this is the posterior of the scapula. Coracoid plus the acromion and the glenoid process situated superiorly and laterally. So this is the lateral part, and this is the superior part, while this is medial, and this is inferior. So the position here. Now the landmark, starting from superior, anterior. This area is the subscapular notch. This fossa is the subscapular fossa. This is the pineal border, while this is the lateral border. Okay. This area, small angle, is the inferior angle, while this superior angle, superior angle, inferior angle, medial board, lateral border, medial border, subscapular fossa, subscapular notch. Now, posteriorly. Posteriorly, we having this one is the medial border. This one is the lateral border. This area is the inferior angle, while this is the superior angle. The posterior surface of the scapula divided by the spine of the scapula. This is the spine of the scapula. Into two fossae. This is supraspinous fossa. And this is infraspinous fossa. Infraspinous fossa. Supraspinous fossa. The spine of the scapula. Now, uh, laterally. This is the lateral border, inferior angle of the scapula. This area is the infraglenoid tubercle, glenoid cavity, supraglenoid tubercle. Supraglenoid tubercle, glenoid cavity, infraglenoid tubercle, lateral border, inferior angle. Those two process, which is, this one is the coracoid process of the scapula, while this one is the acromion process of the scapula. 